A stroke is an interruption of blood supply to the brain. That's the end result. But there are two starting points, two distinct catalysts. The most common occurs when the brain is starved of oxygen. About 80, 85 percent of all strokes are either a thrombosis, a closure of a vessel, or an embolus where a piece of plaque or a blood clot breaks off and secondarily closes the vessel. The medical word is ischemic, lack of uh, circulation, lack of oxygen. Um, the common word would be a dry stroke. The other type of stroke occurs when there's bleeding in the brain. 15 or 20 percent of strokes, the less common type, um, are hemorrhagic or bleeding or wet stroke. Most of those are from uncontrolled high blood pressure, like a gasket bursting a blood vessel bursting inside the brain. Picking up on the symptoms of each type of stroke is crucial in getting effective care. Wet stroke tends to be more deadly early on. Dry stroke presents prolonged problems. The bleeding strokes are sicker quicker up front. They're, you know, they're in the intensive care almost always right away. And the non-bleeding strokes, the ischemic stroke or the dry stroke, when they get in trouble, it's usually from secondary brain swelling and that takes, you know, three to five days or so. Stroke comes on quickly. The warning signs are sudden weakness or numbness on one side of the body, sudden loss of vision, and sudden severe headache. The quicker stroke is identified, the better the outcome. If you suspect one, it's important to call 911 quickly. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.